Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Tabeno Fadila. I'm a student. I'm majoring in English Education Department at Latan Samasiro. And here, I want to present about a peer observation worksheet with the teachers Nabila Sidki. Now, the first uh, for background information, the teacher's name is Nabila Sidki. The course name is Simple Presentance. The level the level is Great Junior High School. The number of students is 13 and the next descriptions of students there are 13 students 17 male and 13 female x ranging they developed uh, and 13 years old in junior high school and their english language is elementary level objectives through simple present learning activity the first students can identify the present tense the second student can make a simple example of present tense the third students can analyze descriptive text and show simple present tense. And the last students can make a simple descriptive text using a simple present. And here skill focus is uh, skill focus, grammar structures and vocabulary. Skill focus is writing and speaking. Grammar structure and accuracy vocabulary. For the lesson, the time uh, five minutes for warm up. The teachers open the class with greetings and asking students conditions. After that, the teacher asks students, uh, "What our lesson today?" For the second, uh, the time is fifteen. The procedure is the presentations. The teachers begin to, to explain about the lessons, a simple sentence, and asking students to make simple, uh, to make example, simple example about. A simple present tense based on their knowledge and after that the teacher give explanation about simple present tense and the formula used and also the functions on simple sentence and then uh, the teacher write them on the whiteboard and the next the time is 10 minutes for practice the teacher gives an gives an exam assignment to the students to make descriptive text through simple present tense the students uh, are free to describe anything they want and after that students present it uh, or uh, read it in the front of the class and for the last the time is uh, 10 minutes for evaluation or assessment in the end of the class the teacher tell uh, what to do on the next meeting is yes, writing the scripted text through dialogue opinions the teacher and students look quite communicative because when the teacher asks question the student also don't hesitate to answer them but from that the teacher walk around to the points at the some student asking about what is simple present tense based on their knowledge and give a simple and also the teacher um, asked students give a simple example of simple present tense after that the teacher discuss it by writing them on a whiteboard the next the question is how much were the students involved and engaged with the lessons i think here the students are quite much involved in lessons because what I see, the teacher seems to be actively communicating with his students and telling students not to be afraid to answer and communicate. And for the third, what did you notice about the teacher talk time versus students talk time? Yeah, of course. Here, uh, what I see, uh, the teacher and the students quite much communicative and interactive because the teacher uh, always invites all students to be able to enter in, into the lessons by walking around the students yeah, uh, not only in the front but the teacher try to build uh, good communication with student with all students so that the class is more active and the teachers always said and there is the teachers always said don't uh, don't be afraid if you can't say that in English uh, and you can not say in Indonesia that's problem so the students look feel comfortable to the to tell their ideas about something teacher ask to them and for the next what was the warm of the lessons? I thought uh, the warm up was quite simple, and I don't think it is the warm up because the teacher just come and greeted, and also ask about the condition of students, then ask uh, to one of students to lead the prayer, and after that the teacher immediately ask, what will uh, what lesson we had today, what we listen today, and I think uh, in this time. The teacher forgot to take attendance because I didn't see the teacher taking attendance and calling students' name on, 
uh, their names one by one. The question is how was the new material presented? The material can be is quite good and students don't feel bored because the teacher always builds communication with students so the learning is more active. And in learning, the teacher always lets students explore, explore and think critically by asking questions. Next, how did the learners practice the new material? The teacher gives a, uh, assignments to students to make descriptive text using the simple present tense. And then uh, they, the students, have to present uh, their uh, assignment or read them in the forms of the class. The next is, was there an evaluation? For evaluations, I think uh, there is nothing evaluation because after the student present their assignments in the forms of the class, the teacher only give them applause to uh, only say give the applause to appreciate their work and not give an assessment or explanations about that. And at the end, the teacher only, only says, "I hope you can understand," and tells students about what they will do at the next meeting. But there, the teacher doesn't ask students if they really understand or not, and let the student ask the question if they have to. For the last, in this space, uh, write any final comments you have about the lessons you observed. And there is, I think the way the teacher confesses here is good. How he explains and builds communication with students, so they can be more active in following the lessons. But uh, what I regret is that the teacher here forgets some details such as taking attendance, uh, conducting assessment, or giving explanations of assignment that have been done by students. So uh, students just do the uh, just do the their assignment and they do the presentation and just finish it. Because in my opinion, it would be better if the teacher was able to give an assessment or the feedback after they do assignment after they are working the assignment because uh, this will allow students to understand more deeply about the material and use the simple present tense and this can also be a lesson if uh, the students there has been a mistake and to be corrected to get together and for the last is peer observation report the teacher presentation here is quite good not only delivering their material, but the teacher can also build good communication with students so that the learning is more interactive and students can understand the material presented and practice it. Learning activities also can be seen here. And when the teacher asks the question, what is the simple present tense according to your knowledge? The student can answer. And the teacher tells them to make an example. Uh, so like make a, make a simple example from a simple present and the student can also give example so that the activity and the communication between the teacher and the students looks active and when i start uh, learning when i see the teacher started learning i didn't think the teacher was doing a warm-up because what i saw the teacher just come and greet to the students ask about the condition of the students and ordered one of the students to lead the prayer but here, the teacher didn't take attendance data because he made, immediately started learning with the question, what our lesson today? And the next, the teacher confused the material is um, quite well because the teacher always gives example and connects it with the material presented. It is quite simple and allows students to follow it. The class also looks active. Almost all students practice in learning and follow the lesson well. The use of English by students is quite good. When in class, when uh, in class, uh, the students try to be able to speak English, even though, uh, even though the teacher always says, they will says that, uh, the even though the teacher will say that, if you cannot confine it, it in English, it doesn't matter if you use Indonesian. In, uh, and in my opinion, what the teacher is doing is quite good because usually the student will tend to be silent and afraid to speak because of the limited of vocabulary. But here, the teacher tries to be understanding and allow students to be able to speak and convey their ideas first. The way the teacher builds conversation with the student is also quite good because what I see is that the teacher can manage their class, uh, the class with thirty students well. So the teacher doesn't doesn't just explain the the material in front of the class, but this and the student listen 
for the teacher doesn't just ask the students in the front but also works to pay attention to all students who are in the classroom and here what I see uh, that the way the teacher manages the class looks good because students will feel that the teacher can give uh, equal attention to all existing students also here there are times when the teacher gives an assignment to the students and present it but what I see that the teacher doesn't seem uh, to give an assessment or the feedback of their assignments given the teacher only gives appreciation with a post but not uh, direct explanation is given whether the assignment is correct or not so here the, the teacher just gives them the, the assignment and the students finish in their assignment and present it in the front of the class and just that and this is for my uh, feedback for price I want to give a good appreciation to the teacher for being able to convey the material well and also being able to manage the class well and be active. I also like the angel of the video because I can see the learning activity better. And for questions. Uh, for the teacher, the question is how do you provide an assessment and feedback to students? And for police, I hope I hope that the teacher can provide even better feedback to students so that students feel that their work and their assignments can be quite appreciated. Not only a plus, but also provide advantage of, or uh, their disadvantage of the assignment so that students can develop even better. I also hope the teacher can interact with students and ask students not only about the material, uh, not only about the material presented, but also about the knowledge the student received. So that's my result of the fashion. Thank you so much for me. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.